And, uh, you know, I come in and, you know, as long as it's not ticking, I'm willing to open it. But, uh, you know, it seems to be a, it seems to be a safe package here. I have no idea. It's a... Uh, Clam chowder clam time, chowder. everybody. And, and Feel some, the passion. And some of the listeners, again, from the uh, football show would be familiar with clam chowder. He's a huge Patriots oh, he's fan. He's appeared on the Score Television Network before uh, me and Greg Sansoni that showed the uh, topless <laughs> yes. picture yes. Oh. of uh, clam chowder on vacation. I remember that. So yeah, I just press that button there, Cam, and uh, yeah, hey, you're on clam chowder. So clam chowder, uh, s s get up to the mic there, speak a, a little closer. How we doing, everybody? Hardcore country revolution <laughs> world. I'm happy to see everybody and Cameron. Witten the kitten Stewart and Gabrielle Big M Morency and Sarah and Richard. We don't have nicknames. Yeah, Maverick okay. Garner. Hey, hey Maverick. Maverick. There you go. <laughs> That's, good, huh? That's actually your kind of a Maverick. Uh, so, uh, uh, Clam Chowder, you brought us a, a night. We have no idea what it is, but uh, Orville tells us it's absolutely going to knock our socks off. Okay. Without further ado, Gabe, why don't you uh, start ripping it open? Do you know how many coffees Clam Chowder's bought today? Like 20. He's, yeah, he's, like he's just getting a Boxes He's been going on runs. I'm and, and Kramer a... with the caffeine today. <laughs> yes, coffee latte, coffee latte, coffee latte. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, we are. It's New England Patriots Radio's back. Well, there you go. Holy that's smoke. A, that's nice, Clam Chowder. That's good work. So, uh, Hardcore yeah, what can you say? There's not much you can say. Lift it up I'm there, Gabe. I'm retiring Gabe. my original Patriot <laughs> Minute Man to Hardcore Sports. Uh, uh, Sirius Satellite Radio Channel 186 from Clam Chowder. Feel the passion. <laughs> I love the wow. feel the passion. I like the old Patriots logo better than the new one. I think they should bring them back. I like it, but listen, uh, from all of us, absolutely, this is this is above and beyond. You should have autographed the picture, though, Clam Chowder. You should have. Well, he can he can autograph the glass, and then we can we can change it every couple of years when it gets smudged. Well, but it, uh, ha it happened like uh, in Seinfeld that. Uh, 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 the picture uh, uh, didn't get to get into the frame, if you remember yeah, the yeah, yes. episode. Which one was that? This is seriously unbelievable. <laughs> it is. I'm, I'm in shock The right more now. I look at it, it's like, oh, George it's got a plaque, chowder. clam chowder. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Kramer, and then he tried to change it, uh, and they, they ended up, the it was picture, his boss there, Mr. What, I, the Festivus for the I rest of us? Kruger? Kruger. Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there's a picture, picture. There's a picture in there of, uh, of, of Clam Chowder, and he has is, he is mounted his, uh, his uh, New England Patriots jacket and, and basically presented it to us, and we, we're super grateful. Thank you very much for everything. And there's a chain if you want to hang it. Oh, that's so sweet of you. On. How did you carry Thank this here, you. Yeah, Clam Chowder? How'd you put it on the bus, sir? I, I had a... Hard time, but you know me, feel the passion. I do anything because it's feel the passion. It's not about the Patriots. It's about what I bring to the table. Feel the passion. We had to and talk about that. about the passion. And he took the bus here? Yeah, of course this? he does. I took the bus. He was here before anyone got to the building. Uh, we have Bruder on the line, wants to say something to uh, Clam Chowder. Bruder, what's up? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, Bruder. What's hey, up, man. Bruder? Hey, Clam Chowder. How's it going, buddy? Hey, long time no here, Bruder. I miss you, too. Are we going to catch up at the cafe again this fall, or what's going on? I, I can't hear you. Speak Are a bit gonna... louder. Are we going to catch up at the cafe this fall, or what? The sports cafe. Remember you came down for the, the football show? Yeah, I remember you. How are you? <laughs> There we go. He's got the headphones down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that. that was actually on us. That, that we was that was stupid. We forget the. We, we have all yeah. headphones on. But he was asking you, Clam Chowder, whether you're going to come down to make another return appearance to the sports cafe for the football show to have a beer with Bruder. Well, if Bruder comes to the next road rage up at trophies, then we'll see what we can do. Oh, that's fair. So, uh, what are you saying then, Bruder, too? Segue. Because you haven't been, uh, you haven't been uh, maybe apprised of this, but of course, Gabe's taking the show on the road for the big UFC 83 in Montreal. There'll be a road rage at Trophies Sports Bar on the Thursday, correct? Friday night. Friday night. Where's the one on Thursday? I believe... Uh Chez Paré? Chez Paré. I believe. The legendary Chez Paré. In Montreal, Gabe is going to be doing two nights of Sports Rage in Montreal. Bruder, you should think about going down. 
Yeah, I would like to, and I try to get tickets, but like the rest of the people around here, you can't get tickets to that event. It's sold out less than a day. Yeah, I know, but I think we're all going, and none of us have and tickets, we're not, right? We're, we're so not going to be going to the event itself. Well, we have some, some press credentials to go uh, do whatever we need to do to to uh, report on it, but we're going to be watching, uh, you know, at a sports bar where mm -hmm. Hardcore Sports Radio is going to be. So it's, uh, you know, it's not like being there, but it's the next best thing, right, Gabe? Yeah, you should come down. Uh you should come down Friday night, uh, Bruder. It's going to be quite the throwdown. Okay, I got a uh, uh, Bruder. We got uh, Pierre on three. He wants to say hi to uh, to uh, Clam Chowder. Uh, Pierre, go ahead. Hey, Clam Chowder. Hi, it's Pierre Toronto. We met at the sports cafe. Hey, Hawksbury, Pierre. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, my friend. I, I, I'm impressed you remember, my friend. Just say it, Clam Chowder. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre, we got to keep it rolling. We got a couple oh. minutes left. That's Roma. good. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else is there, uh, Aaron? We got Mike in Buffalo on one. Miguel, what's up, man? How are you? Sorry, it's Mike in Buffalo. Good, good. Hope you guys are feeling better today. He just corrected me, Mike. I you're, go, you're an idiot. I go, I, I go Miguel. <laughs> Honestly, goes, that no, was no. so brutal. He goes, no, no, it's Mike. <laughs> you see what I deal with? You see what I deal with on a nightly basis? Actually, uh, it, much uh, much appreciation today, Aaron. He did a great job, but we weren't here earlier, and the show came together somehow. So thanks to Orville. And again, Mike Gentili, uh, get well. You'll be back tomorrow. Uh, Mike in Buffalo, what is up? Well, listen, uh, I know everybody remembers 9-11. And you were talking about how this uh, shell game is played. Well, New York, they're, they're in a chaos, 9-11. The government of New York State, that's when they pushed that non-smoking bill. And all your mom and pop restaurants and bars and everything. But nobody was looking. Yeah, it's not, it's not a new game, right? I mean, this is not, uh, speaking of shell games, 9-11, uh, but uh, we'll get into that another time. But without a doubt, everybody in New York that talked about that smoking bill said, when was this passed? We didn't remember. Oh, during this particular period. Wasn't that when the country was basically upside down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, actually. But, exactly. And all, and all eyes were on New York City. And did you even yeah. know about this stuff I was talking about earlier? No, first I heard about it. Well, there you go. It. it was actually but, not. It was not released in Canada. It was. Uh, it was not reported in Canada. The military didn't make any announcements, but the U.S. military made a slight, uh, small announcement, but basically kept it under the radar. Well, our our border has always been open to you, open to Canada. And Canada's always been open to the U.S. So, if anything ever did happen on either side of the border, I am sure our, either government would step in to help if necessary. Yeah, absolutely. Well, which I think is a good thing. And I'll have your back, Mike, if anything goes down. Uh, I don't know. I, I felt your punch there a, a while back, and uh, I, I think I'd rather have Gabe. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can understand that. I've got your back, Mike. Don't worry, buddy. Okay, we got to keep it rolling, right. Mike. We'll talk to you later. Hey, listen. You there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, listen. I, I'm the Internet gambling, folks. Go to your local drugstore and buy yourself a prepaid credit card. That's all you need. Yes, ah, Michael. Well done. So that's how the uh, the American people are doing. Prepaid credit cards at the uh, local drugstore or until today when we basically blew their cover. Yes, we did. Way to go. Uh, 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 Steve Coolius is up next. It is Hardcore Hockey Talk. Clam Chowder in hey, studio. Thanks for the picture, Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Clam Big Chowder. Thank you. And to, every, and to everybody. Feel the passion. Yes. Woo. Feeling it. To everybody sure. that sent stuff, especially over the last couple weeks, because we're getting inundated with jerseys and great stuff, mm -hmm. we're going to start to try to build up the uh, inside of the studio so everybody's stuff can get its uh, its proper uh, its proper due thanks for everything thanks for watching thanks for listening